All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. Now, because you guys like this series so much, I'm coming back today with what I believe is part six of the Aquarium Reaction series. So if you don't know if this is your first time watching this series, this is where I find a whole bunch of pictures of the worst aquariums I could find and react to them live and give my little opinions on each aquarium. Now, if you guys wanna be part of this video, I encourage you, please do not set up your worst aquarium just for this video. But if you've seen, you know, a nasty Craigslist ad with some disgusting fish tank or something on Facebook Marketplace, go ahead and send it to Aquatics at gmail.com. That email is linked in the description and I'll go ahead and try to include it on this next reaction video series, probably part seven. Now also coming up here soon, I'm gonna be doing a reacting to my subscribers aquariums. So if you guys wanna send me just your personal fish tanks and you want me to react to them for a video, also go ahead and send those to the same email I said earlier, chewiesbroaquatics at gmail.com, and I will make a special video reacting to your guys' aquariums. That's gonna be in the near future, so I'm just kind of getting ready for that. But if you wanna have a head start, go ahead and send those to that email down below and I will make sure you guys are included. Without further ado though, here we go. Starting off with the classic, the Pinterest beta tank. Now in theory, this beta fish tank looks gorgeous, but in reality, it's a tiny cube aquarium. Um, not big enough for a beta fish. There's no filter, there's no heater. If you've watched these videos, you know the drill. These little beta cubes are not good homes for beta fish. The little plant on top does look cute. I will admit this is a very Pinterest setup. It looks really good, but in reality, super unfunctional for a beta fish. Now in this video, we're also gonna throw in a couple Amazon reviews. So this review right here is for a beta fish aquarium. So not only do we have the picture of the beta fish aquarium, which we'll dissect that first, it looks to be, I'm gonna guess, like a one-ish gallon tank divided in half, so half a gallon per beta fish. Lots of gravel in a plant, so really not very much swimming room for these fish at all. Once again, no filter, no heater. This is a really poor example of a beta tank. But if we read the review, it's a review for the aquarium. It says five stars, perfect. And then the caption says, oh my God, people, it's not too small for beta fish or two of them. Both of my betas are just fine. They have been here for two months and are fine, all in capitals. Once again, it's not too small at all. Research your betas before getting one. The larger the tank, the more stress there is on the fish. Huh? I don't even know what to say to this person. Then they go on to say, I'm a proud owner and breeder of beta fish for years. Four years, exactly, in a couple of months. I mean, that's just arrogance at its finest. I love how they say to do research on beta fish, when in reality, if you do any research on beta fish, the first thing you're gonna see is that betas need a minimum of around a three gallon aquarium. So, um, this person clearly has no idea what they're talking about. Um, I really hope they're no longer keeping fish. This it was from 2016, so hopefully they've either turned around or no longer keeping fish. I will say right now, anyone who has successfully bred beta fish is likely not keeping them in tanks this small um, or with fake plants like that. I mean, in reality, a beta fish breeder would have not only a way more advanced setup, but would likely have live plants, snails, the works. I mean, this is just a disaster. Our next one is coming in from eBay. This is a larger aquarium. This is a 55 gallon fish tank with of course the fish included for $300. Um, now, in reality, it looks like just a nasty fish tank. It doesn't look that bad. Sure, there is a common pleco in here, which is obviously too big for the aquarium or will outgrow the aquarium eventually. The water quality is nasty. But as we zoom in, we have what looks to be either orange platies or goldfish and a turtle dock, meaning there's turtles in here. So we do have lights on the aquarium, but I'm assuming those are not the correct heat or UVB lights, just judging by the look of this tank. Um, this person clearly isn't quite sure what they're doing. Yeah, there also looks to be a huge molly down there. So maybe those guys are platies. I don't know, the tank is so nasty, I can't see what fish are inside it, but this is clearly not a suitable habitat for a turtle, let alone that many fish, judging by the state of the aquarium. Next up, we had to include some salt water here. Um, this is a three gallon all-in-one aquarium, meaning the filtration is in the back of the unit, but there's a lionfish in this tank. Now, lionfish are huge predatory saltwater fish. They need about a minimum of a 150 gallon aquarium as they get bigger. This lionfish will probably be fine in like a 65, 75 gallon aquarium at its current size. But a three gallon is just totally unacceptable. Sure, the fish fits in there, but just because a fish fits in the tank doesn't mean it's a good tank for the fish. So this is just not doing your research at its finest. One more saltwater tank. Once again, not doing your research at its finest. This looks to be around a 10 or 20 gallon aquarium. A uh, hang on back filter, nothing wrong with that for salt water. There is a pretty large, what looks to be a real anemone, 
but just based off the picture, it doesn't look like they have the correct lighting. Generally, um, reef aquarium lights have a blue tint to them because that blue light is what actually helps the corals grow, anemones grow, thrive. And the anemone looks pretty bleached, which is a sign it's not doing well, which is where it loses its color. Onto the fish though, we have a clownfish in a blue tank, classic Nemo and Dory. The clownfish is probably fine in this 20 gallon tank, but um, blue tanks definitely outgrow aquariums. 20 gallons, blue tanks need around 100-ish gallons depending on their size. When they get bigger, they honestly need tanks upwards of 150 gallons when they're full grown because blue tanks do get really big. And then also on the glass, we see a starfish. This literally looks like a perfect recreation of the Nemo Aquarium, which is really bad because starfish not only do not do great in aquariums this small long term, but that starfish looks to be one of the more difficult varieties. I believe on live aquaria, sometimes they're listed as expert only. I'm not quite sure the exact type of starfish. I know it's not a sand sister. I know it's not a chocolate chip starfish. But regardless, this tank looks too new and kept by a too inexperienced fish keeper to have um, a blue tang and a starfish. Next up is what looks to be a classroom aquarium just based off the please don't feed the fish sign. However, I'm not really sure where this tank came from. Um, really nasty, just dirty aquarium with goldfish, honestly kind of your typical dirty aquarium, but there is also an Oscar in there. Now, if the goldfish weren't going to outgrow this tank, the Oscar is definitely going to outgrow this tank. Oscars get really big, really fast if they're fed properly. In reality, because the Oscar is smaller than the goldfish and the goldfish are already huge, I don't think the Oscar has a potential at all to eat these goldfish. It's just generally regarded that Oscars are kind of kept by themselves and pairing them with goldfish is really rare but in those circumstances there should be at least an adequately sized tank that is clean involved so this one uh, meets none of those requirements coming up next looks like a saltwater tank but based on the catfish it might be freshwater this tank uh, looks like it's on its last leg so all that white stuff on the filter looks what I think is salt creep which is where salt water splashes on something the water evaporates but the salt crystallizes and is left behind so that's what leads me to think this is a saltwater tank, although I'm not quite sure. Filtration looks old, dirty. Um, there's actually a wooden brace holding the tank together, which is uh, very concerning because the wooden brace looks like it's moments away from breaking. This tank is old, very outdated. It's probably been up for 20 years. That fish looks huge. I'm not sure how big this aquarium is, but um, this tank needs a serious overhaul soon before the tank explodes and then you have to get a whole new home renovation. One more Amazon review here. This is for a one gallon Tetra bubbling aquarium kit. Now, in the picture, there's four goldfish in here, which is already an issue, already a problem. So when we read the actual little like description of the review, it says, I got this fish tank for my four baby goldfish. These goldfish look pretty big already to me. Obviously not full grown, but still big. And then they go on to say the fish are so happy. They definitely have enough space to swim around. So I was able to add some plants for decoration. Enough space to swim around? What? Huh? No. This is too small for even one goldfish. If you're keeping four goldfish this size, 29 gallon tank minimum will have to be upgraded as these goldfish get a little bit bigger. So the rest of the review is just talking about the filter, how the tank, you know, doesn't really work correctly all the time. And they like how the fish tank is small because it fits well on their desk. The whole point of a fish tank is to adequately house the fish, which this is not doing. So regardless of how cute the fish tank looks, these fish are not going to last very long in a tank this small. There is a tiny filter in this aquarium, which is better than some goldfish aquariums I've seen. However, in reality, just do your research and this wouldn't be a problem. This picture looks like it came from a local fish store. Hopefully they were just doing water changes and that's why the water level's low. But other than that, this tank doesn't look too bad. Their feeder goldfish system does have a lot of goldfish in it, which is kind of concerning. The water level on all of these tanks is low and the filters are off, which leads me to either think these tanks are being seriously neglected or they are just doing water changes. But one of the issues I found is this little betta fish. So this is the only tank I could see that has a betta fish hanging in it, but it looks like they have this cage hanging in the water with the betta fish and there's barely any water in for the betta fish. So in reality, if they're just doing a water change and that tank is gonna be filled back up, this setup really isn't that bad, at least for the betta fish, cause you know, the betta fish is gonna be housed there temporarily. It's better than the little cups at some pet stores. And the reason why this is better is because the betta fish will share water with the rest of the aquarium that's probably heated and filtered, hopefully, once again, I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. This is during a water change. 
but then the betta fish has access to clean, filtered, and heated water, whereas in the cups, they don't always get that. Last but not least, because everyone else is canceling David Dobrik, I think it's my turn to cancel him based off of his betta fish bowl. This guy has so much money, it's not even funny. Like, this was in a house tour, and on his counter, we can see a betta fish bowl. You'd think if you had the money, you would like at least treat your pets right. I mean, he has like four assistants probably. One of them can do a quick Google search on how to take care of a betta fish. But no, this is just a bowl, a small half gallon bowl, some black rocks at the bottom, and his betta fish. Kind of unfortunate. Um, I mean, what do you expect from David Dobrik though? We're not even getting into that today. But that is gonna be just about it for part six of reacting to the worst aquariums I could find. Once again, if you wanna see more of these videos, smash that like button down below because that lets me know to make more of these and hopefully we'll have part seven coming out soon if you guys wanna see it. But that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching once again and good bye.